Hi there, Sandra here from The Chauvin's Nest. I have a haul for you today. I found some amazing things at the thrift store and though I'm still working on some of the things that I had thrifted last time, I wanted to catch you up to speed on what I got this time. The thrift stores in our areas always have these little bags of fun little items that are usually marked either $2.99 or $3.99. And I got these little saucers. These are the ones that come three in a pack at the Dollar Tree. I got a dozen of them for $3. So a good savings there. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I think they'll be really fun to make over for tiered trays or even just to make some little candle holders out of them. The other one that I got is this bag. Now this bag was $4.99. I'm gonna open it up and show you what I got inside of that. I bought it specifically for this one item, which I thought was just absolutely adorable. It's from Dollarama originally. There's a heart <laughs> stuck on the bottom of it. Or maybe that's the top. Oh yeah, that's the top. <laughs> and inside of it is somebody's spool of a little spool of thread and some other little items. I think that probably were just hanging on the hook here like this but I just thought that was just the cutest little thing and I just grabbed it up. So that was part of this bag. Then I have this adorable rooster in the shadow box. Um, nice little farmhouse background that you can see there as well. So that was in the bag. And then the last thing that was in the bag was um, just this little plaque. We remember those from our primitive days, right? In the eighties, um, it does say, Love to Robin from Mom, October 25th, 2002, 40th birthday. So I think Mom might be a little upset that Robin gave that away. <laughs> okay, so the other little thing that I got, look, look at how cute this little uh, creamer is. It's a pretty little color. I'm leaving it this color. It's yellow. I think it's adorable. It's, it was $1.99. So cute. No marks on the bottom or anything, but it's going to definitely stay this color. There are some things on the planet that I won't paint. <laughs> I got these two olive buckets. These are from Ashland and they were regularly $12.99. I got the pair of them, get this, for $3.99. So these are absolutely beautiful. I love olive buckets. I'm not doing absolutely anything with these, but I'm probably going to fill them. I might make an olive tree out of this one, or I might just use some lavender. Um, they might end up just being on my kitchen counter for storage, maybe some of my utensils. So there's a whole bunch of different ideas that I have for this. Looking ahead towards Easter, I found this cute little green bucket. Um, it has a liner in it, which I will probably take out. I don't need the liner, but I just thought this would be a sweet little bucket to have, or basket, I should say, to have um, probably painted because although this is a really nice green color, I don't necessarily like that or have any of that in my home. And I don't think any of this will sell either. This is from Target. I'm not sure if it was Target Canada or Target USA because at some point we did have Target here for a while. So anyway, that was, how much was that? $3.99. So nice big basket. I could see that maybe on painted white or distressed with uh, some lavender in it with the handle staying straight up. I think that would be gorgeous. Okay. $5. Check this out. Oh, you can see all the stuff in my room. Ah, my unmade bed. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So this is, let me come back this way a little bit. This is just a nice little hanging mirror. And it's got a nice little shelf here. And I thought this would look really sweet with some, um, a couple of the crates from the Dollar Tree maybe with some lavender in them. And then there could be some key hooks here or you could even put some hooks down here. I think I might just paint it and distress it because the wood is okay. I think it's sort of like a pine or a maple. It looks might look a little bit more orange in the, on camera, but I like it. I think I might redo this and uh, see what happens with that guy. Set that back here. Okay, moving on. 
I love little white pitchers and or creamers, I guess. I thought this one was had a really nice design on it. Um, $2.99. That one's beautiful. I did buy another one that is not part of my haul because I already used it for a video. The other thing I bought because I love these greens is this beautiful little pedestal planter. It is Hager USA, H-A-E-G-E-R. So if anybody knows if that is um, worth something, I'm not sure. I paid $2.99 for it. It's going to stay this color. The only thing I might do with it is add a touch of white wax to it just to bring out the little designs that you can see here. I think that would be pretty. And there is a little bit of a chip here, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of camouflage for that. But I really love the, the green of that. I have been looking a lot for some wooden bowls and they're really expensive here. They're really, really pricey. So when I found this set of four salad bowls, I'll do it this way, uh, four of them for $2.99, I scooped them up because I would never paint anything like this. I thought these would be beautiful little displays, um, either with just some little riser feet underneath or a spindle or made into a candlestick. I think these would be really fun to uh, make over, but just leaving the wood and maybe just having something else on them. That's, oops, sorry, that's my phone. Having a little bit something on them that uh, would bring a little bit of color to them but these are gonna stay this wood color. I think it looks really beautiful. Here's another beauty green one. Look at the lines on this. It's a really fun shape. And this again was only $2.99. This is made in China. This was in the floral section, so like a planter, but I thought this would really be pretty too. Even with this sort of mossy green color, it does have a little bit of yellow. So I might do some white wax on this and uh, maybe with some lavender in it or some white florals, I think would be really pretty. Now I did find, I did find a few animals. I found a turkey. <laughs> I know it's not Thanksgiving, but I needed to grab him because I think he is absolutely adorable. Now he does come out like he does come apart. It's a dish, a turkey dish. I did pay $6 for it, but I think he's going to look absolutely amazing. Painted white and distressed with maybe some antiquing wax or some black wax for the fall season. And I am so excited to be able to do something with him. Really, really fun turkey. <laughs> Okay, one more animal, a piggy, another little wooden piggy. I just gave a wooden pig away to one of my winners for the 30,000 subscriber draw. This one is a much smaller, he's $2.99. He's got a cute little eye on him, but he's the same on both sides. So I think, <laughs> look at the little tail. <laughs> um, I think I'll probably paint him, he's very yellow. Um, but he's varnished quite a bit too. So I think I might rustic him up a little bit and maybe put something on there. Make him a sign for in the kitchen. Okay. So I am on the lookout for frames. The style of my channel, not necessarily channel, but some of the videos that I'm doing now, I love the vintage farmhouse shabby chic kind of French country. Boy, that's a lot of different styles all in one. But this frame I thought was perfect for that kind of uh, decor, the French country. It's got some really nice lines here. It is a metal frame. No, I think it's wood. No, it might be plastic. Anyway, whatever it is, it has some beautiful lines to it. And I think painting it and distressing it to bring out all of these details will look fabulous. I did find three of them. So I could probably do a botanical print in each of these and make it a really pretty set for someone to uh, showcase in their home. The majority of things that I purchase for thrifting or from thrifting are to be made over and sold. So that is what I love to do. I love to craft. I love to make things over 
make something old new again but i don't have room in my house for everything there are some things that i keep but the majority of things i put on facebook marketplace and sell them locally okay another big tin this tin was $3.99. It's quite large. I think it's about 18 inches high and it's uh, got a nice round shape to it. It was $3.99 and I really like it. I think I'm going to leave it. It's already got, well, it's got some dirt and stuff on it, but it looks pretty cool. The only thing I might do is maybe spray it with some matte sealer just to dull the shine down a little bit but I don't think I'm going to paint this at all. I think this is just going to stay the way it is and I might end up using this as a garbage pail or a recycle bin. I'm not sure. Let me know if there's something I should do to this because I'm really not sure should I put a label on it? Should I put some words on it? Should I leave it plain? Should I paint it? It's really big. So if I did sell it, I would sell it as is. I would not put anything in it because that will just hike up the price for people. And um, if I price anything much more over $20 or $25 here, it won't sell. So I always have to make sure that I have enough items that are below that mark generously because I'm going to be putting some effort into redoing them and I want to get a little bit of profit out of that. Okay, moving on. This next stuff is a lot of wood things. <clears throat> I found this little, another little grab bag. And this has, I'm going to open it up. It was $3.99 for this one. This has two, these are resin actually. Two cute little sly foxes that are really cute. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> really sweet. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do with those, but they would probably get repainted and I don't know, do something with that. But the reason I bought this bag is because there's a little piggy and there's, oh, a rooster that I just broke. Shoot. But I can have glue, we'll fix. <laughs> so the rooster broke. He's supposed to be sitting on there like that. And there is also a cow. So a rooster, a pig, and a cow. All in these little wood things. And they are so cute. They were $1.29. I don't know where this store is. What is this? S&D Sales. I don't know. But anyhow, I will fix Mr. Rooster. And um, I'll be able to paint those up. And either just use them for staging or use them on a tiered tray. I think they'd be an awesome farmhouse tiered tray edition. Poor rooster, he broke. Okay, another thing that was in the grab bags for $3.99, and I'm just gonna take one of them out. I think there are six in here, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, no, there, one, two, there's four. These are little hangers. They're little candle holders. They have the little hanging piece in the back here. And I thought these would be awesome to add to bigger pieces of wood or perhaps um, put on a spindle and hang on the wall. I don't know. I, I think they're just awesome. Anything wood like this that I see little things, I grab them because... There, you never know when you're going to need something to add on to something else. So little wood pieces are always fun. Now, a while back, oh, this one still has pepper in it. Um, I saw somebody take a set of salt and pepper shakers, the wooden ones, remove the top. Of course, there's still pepper in this one, which is coming out the bottom. Um, this one doesn't have anything at the bottom anymore, but that doesn't matter. And make candlesticks out of these. So put either a square on the top or a round on the top and then a base at the bottom and you've got a beautiful pair of candlesticks. So for $3.99 for the pair, I didn't think that was too large of a price. So I grabbed those and I'm going to give that a try. See how they turn out. My last, almost last, huh, these are amazing candlesticks. 
going to take them apart. Or banisters, possibly. I'm not sure. I think they're candlesticks. And I think they go this way. Check these babies out. These are gorgeous. They're solid wood. They're natural wood. They were $5 for the pair. And they, it looks like they have some holes in them. So I'm not sure if they would have been used as a banister or... And actually, they're different. Check this out. I just noticed they are different. This one is a little bit smaller than this one. So they'll probably won't be sold as a set because they are a little bit different. So yeah, or maybe if I put them this way, then they might be able to be sold as a set. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But I just thought they were awesome to grab because they're solid wood. Somebody turned these probably on their own and uh, didn't want them anymore. So they came home with me. Lucky me. The last thing I got at the thrift store this time was uh, for $4, I got two of these big floral foams and one of these other little uh, foam thingies that you can get from the Dollar Tree. So I thought the foam brick, yeah, I need it. I use it sometimes. Right now, the pool noodles aren't available where I live because we have snow on the ground, so nobody's swimming in their pools. So I just can't seem to find any of those anymore right now. So uh, come summertime, I'm going to be stocking up and my craft room will be full of pool noodles. I think I'll probably be hanging them from the ceiling just so I have space for them. The very last thing I purchased is this square teapot or coffee pot. I love it because it's white. It has a beautiful lid to it with the little hook on it so it stays in place. And it doesn't have a lot of damage to it. I don't know if I'm going to paint this. Uh, it's got a, some scratches and things on the bottom. I paid $3.99 for it. So anything under $5, I would, I would buy for sure. Um, but anything more than that, is not worth it for me because I can sell these probably for 15 to $18 if I redo them and put a label on them, but I can't get much more than that for them. So I really have to be careful about how much I'm spending at the thrift store because I want to be able to flip it for profit and not really spend a lot of time doing something with it as well. So my time is precious. I don't have a lot of it. I'm working hard to bring you tons of content. So I hope you enjoyed this craft haul. I hope you'll stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already, so you can see what I'm going to be doing with all of these thrifted items. And I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed already. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you'll support me as well by hitting that red subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up because that shows YouTube that you like what I have and they promote me more, which also helps my channel grow. So those are a couple of ways you can support me. The last way you can support me, I've gotten some people asking if they can send me materials or crafting supplies or tools, anything like that. So I've set up a buy me a coffee fund. The link is down in my description box. So if you're interested in supporting me a little bit extra that way, by all means, check that out. But you don't need to. That is just something that I've got there for those people who would like to do that. So don't feel pressured into doing anything like that for me. I'm doing fine. The other way that you can help me is the ads. If you watch the ads through my videos, that's how I get paid. So if you watch the whole ad and don't skip it, that is a really great way to help support my channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, I'm back. So the rest of this video is the tutorial on how to make faux IOD stamps and transfers. So if you're interested in learning how to make them, I do everything from start to finish in this tutorial. I'm going to be working on Pixabay. I'm going to be working on Google Drawing in Google Drive. So the one thing you will need to have is a Google Drive account set up. 
If you don't know how to do that, just Google it. How do I set up Google Drive? And you'll be able to figure that out by step by step just on the internet. Google is available on the Chrome browser. So you'll need to install the Chrome browser in order to follow along this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn a lot from it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll definitely get back to you. Open your Google browser and type in pixabay.com. This will take you to Pixabay, which has thousands of free images and royalty-free stock that you can use for personal or commercial projects. Let's type in vintage animals and press enter. If you think you're going to be using these images a lot, I would suggest joining Pixabay. It's totally free and then you can log in and you won't have to worry about clicking on the CAPTCHA, which is that little check mark that says, I am not a robot. You'll end up on a page that looks similar to this. We're not gonna use the images all across the top. So click on the images button and choose illustrations. Scroll down and you will be able to see more of a vintage type of look of animals. Check out this adorable bunny. This is very similar to the IOD transfer bunny. Click on it and then click on free download. Click download again and then this will be added to your computer. Now that we have our bunny, we're going to look for a frame. So type in frame and then scroll down to see all of the different options available. You'll have some colored options. You'll have some black and white options. To create this type of stamp, we're gonna look for a black and white option. There's a whole bunch of different styles. You can look for some vintage ones. You can look for something that's really scrolly. They have some banners. They have all sorts of different things to choose from. So you may not find the one that I'm going to select, but you will be able to find all sorts of different ones. If you're going to want the one that I select for sure, I'll have that listed down in the description box. I like the look of this frame because it's very similar to some of the details of the IOD stamps. Click free download and then download again and it will be added to your computer. From this page, move up to the Chrome browser and click the apps button. Now click on Google Drive. From here, you're going to click on the new button, move down to more and then click on Google Drawings. This is where I create all of my free printables for you. Click into the box that says Untitled Drawing and then name your document so you can find it easier later. I'm just going to call this Rabbit Printable. Google Drive automatically saves all of your documents. So anytime you make changes, you're going to see a little save button that pops up next to the title and it will just show that it's constantly saving. So there's no need to worry that you're ever going to lose your work. From the Google Drawing toolbar, click on Insert, Image, and then Upload from Computer. Go to your Downloads folder and click on the bunny and click Open. This is a really large size, so to make it smaller, you go to one of the corners, click on the double-sided arrow, and drag it until you get it the size you like. To move it, simply click into the center of the image and then drag it onto the screen wherever you want it to be. I'm going to repeat the insert image process to get the frame onto my document as well. The frame needs to be bigger, so click on one of the corners and drag it until you get it the size you want. Now, because we put the rabbit down first and then the frame, the rabbit is behind the frame. So now we need to make the frame be behind the rabbit. From the toolbar, click on Arrange, Order, and Send to Back.
Now the rabbit is in front, so you can click on it, make it active, which means it has the blue box around it, move it around, make it smaller or larger. And we can now do the same thing with the frame. I'm just making the frame a little bit smaller to fit the rabbit a little bit better. Next, we're going to make some adjustments to the color of the frame. So click on Format Options and then move down to Adjustments. The first bar is Transparency and I want this frame to be a little bit lighter than the bunny. So I'm just going to keep moving up the button until I get it the color I want. So it's just a little bit grayer. I'm going to do the same thing with the bunny, but not as much. This part is totally optional. I like to group my images together so they're one. Select both of the images so they're both outlined as you see here, and then right click the shape, click on group, and then it will be all together as one. So now you can see that I can move everything around and it's all one image. Now I can make it smaller if I would like to as well. I made this bigger because I wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing, but normally I would make this about a quarter of the size of the page. But then again, depending on my project, it really depends on what size you will need. To add text, you're going to click on the T box that's in the toolbar and then just draw it onto your shape. Then you can type in whatever you would like. I'm going to use the word royal for this demonstration. Then I'm going to select it by dragging my mouse over it so it turns blue. And now I can change the text style. Select the text one more time and move over to the font size. Click the plus or minus button until you get the size that you want. I like to space the letters apart a little bit, so all I do is click in between each of the letters and hit the space bar. I'm going to add another text box underneath the word royal so I can put in the next line of lettering that I want. I'm using the words lemon curd. Then I'm going to click the three little arrows at the end of the toolbar and click the alignment button so I can set it into the center of the text box. Then I'm going to go ahead and just select my wording, decide what type of font I want to use for it and what size of font.
once I have everything the way I want it to be, I'm going to select all of them again, right click and click on group. And that just means I'm going to be able to move things around and resize them all as one item. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my thrift haul. And if you stayed to the end of the tutorial and are listening to me now, here's a couple other tutorials that you might find interesting. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.